RFID. And today we're gonna to talk about direct supervision and indirect supervision. I've worked in both. I do have a favorite. It is direct supervision, believe it or not. Some people would say indirect. But we're gonna go over the pros and cons, my pros and cons, just a couple on each subject of why I think each is good and each can be bad. Direct supervision pros, you're in there with the inmates, the entire shift. You're observing them, you're listening to them, you're watching them, you're in there with them, they know you're in there with them, so their behaviors are different uh, because they know the officer's in there, the officer is in charge. Uh, you get to just listen to them as you walk up to them doing, conducting your rounds you know, uh, and interact with them. You, you would be surprised what an inmate will tell you in a direct supervision unit and sometimes in, in, indirect, but you would be surprised at how they just talk to you. And we're gonna go over that in a second. When working in direct supervision unit, um, an entire shift, you're stuck in there, you know, sometimes it does get stressful. So that, that, that would be a con for me. You don't have that chance to get out and take a breather uh, or just step away for a second, unless you're going to break or lunch. Uh, and sometimes you're rushed doing that, maybe because of short staffed or whatever reason. Uh, I've known officers to say, I just don't want to, I don't want to lunch, I don't want to break, just bring me some water and I'll just keep it going. Kudos to them. But don't get overwhelmed. If you need to step out, working a direct supervision unit, get out for a second, take a breather. Go outside, get some fresh air, come back in, do your thing, finish your shift. The con for direct supervision, a con for me, is don't get too close to these inmates. Uh, from my experience and what I've seen in the past over my 14 years in corrections, I've seen inmates get too close to officers, too close. Most units in direct supervision have yellow line or yellow tape, black tape, whatever it may be around the podium or the officer's desk. Don't cross that line, don't cross that. This is my space, this is my safety area. I've seen, the, I've seen inmates all over the officer's podiums, behind the officer's podiums, going through drawers in the officer's podiums. That's step one. That's, the, that's their test to see how close they can get to that officer. The next day, they're in there talking to the officer about personal things. And then the next day, I come in as an administrator and I've been gone for a week and they say, hey Maynard, how was the beach? Why do they know I was at the beach? It's because staff gets too close to inmates at times and that's not good. Don't. Talk about other staff to inmates and don't talk about your personal life to inmates. And this happens so often in direct supervision because you're in there, the inmates want to see how close they can get to you, how much they can know about you. Don't, don't. If, if, you, if you feel it getting to that point, cut it off. Stop it. It's dangerous. It's extremely dangerous. Indirect pros, indirect supervision. Uh, you, the officer, you know, the pro, you can get out of the unit. You can go in there, do your round, do conduct your feeding or get somebody for court, whatever it may be, and then leave the unit. That sounds great, doesn't it? Where you can just go in there, say, hey, come on, and walk back out and go to your control room or your, or your desk or your podium that may be outside the unit. That sounds great. I've seen it, uh, and I've worked it. Um, you know, you have, you may have your cameras at the podium or the office where you can observe them over the camera, but that's not the kind of officer I am. I like to be in there with them. I like to be able to hear and observe and just check things out. You know, I'm constantly head on a swivel, eyes are turning. People think I'm crazy, but that's just the officer that I am. The con with indirect, my con, is the inmates think think they run that housing unit when the officer's not there. They think they're in charge. Of course they're not. But th when they think that, they do things when the officer's not in there that sometimes staff never finds out unless there's a complaint down the road weeks later or someone gets severely injured or killed or Priya violated. These things happen all the time in indirect, and sometimes they happen in direct supervision, but more often in indirect because the officer isn't in there with them. So keep that in mind with indirect. Working indirect, you got to pay more attention when you go in there because of the fights, the pre violations the, the assaults. But the bottom line is 
we need to stay safe, whether you're working indirect or direct supervision. Be smart, know the rules of your facility, and as always, be safe.